Oh wait, why do I still have this cat? She's not coming with us. They really didn't care to help me at all. And the most important thing is don't touch the bottles. Hello, human who travels family. So today is our third day in Moldova and we are doing the classic tour of the winery and it's called Krikovac or something like that. So <laughs> we're really excited to taste some wine and actually learn how to use winey words so that I don't just make shit up all the time when I tell people what a wine actually tastes like. I'll be able to say, oh yes, it's dry with a hint of maple. Honey, give me that wine. <laughs> or something, some shit like that. <clears throat> so anyway, guys, uh, we're gonna get the bus to the central station. From the central station, we'll go straight to Kukovac, which is just outside of the capital city of Chis Chisinau, which is where we're staying. And uh, how do you get the bus? Which bus number? Bus number four. Okay, and how did you know that? Uh, well, I asked our host, but also on Google, it's pretty easy to find. They tell you which buses to use. Oh wait, why do I still have this cat? She's not coming with us. Okay, bye. Okay. That was awkward. I almost just stole a cat. No. What do we do next? Get bus number four? Uh, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Let me just look at my maps. What we're going to do is take bus number four. So right now we're at this one, Eugene Koka. We take bus number four, which is arriving very soon. We ride for five stops. We get off here, Tichu Mihai Eminescu. We walk nine minutes to this bus station. I don't even want to try to say, to say that. From there, we got our bus to Krikova. So, so far what I've seen is that um, People are kind of keeping to themselves. There's not a lot of, hey, hello, how are you doing? Actually, none. Uh, I went to the pharmacy today to get some meds for Devon because he's not feeling that well. And they wouldn't give it to me and they weren't friendly at all. They didn't try to explain why they wouldn't give it to me. Or maybe they did, but it was in Russian. Um, they really didn't care to help me at all. So the girl was my age too. And I told her that we were tourists and that we couldn't go to a doctor here and she was just like, eh, what can I do? But yeah, on the buses, people definitely keep to themselves. Um, people do smoke here, but not nearly as much as in Serbia. Uh, yeah, and that's it for now. We've only been here for two full days, so let's see how our impressions change as we go on. Moldova is the poorest country, the poorest country in Europe, um, which is great for traveling. Um, this two piece is a it's two lunar which is the moldovan currency this is all you need to get a bus and it's only about 10 cents so that's that's it you can get a chocolate bar for 50 cents uh you can get a pastry for 50 cents it's pretty affordable um what else the highest note i believe is a thousand and the lowest one is uh one Okay, so the bus dropped us off kind of far from the cellars, but that's just how it works. So you'll see this sign if you guys come here. Looks like that. It's a, there's a fork in the road like this. Our bus came down this way and dropped us off over there. And then we had to walk back and then go down this fork of the road to the end of it should be the cellars, but let's see how it goes. So we're starting our tour now and she said that this is the deepest part of the cellar and the most important thing is don't touch the bottles. So don't cross the red line. What does that make me want to do?
hundred bottles like this one, and this one is the last in the world. Nobody knows how this one was produced, so no one can make it again the same. Like no one has one. ever tested it. Yes, from this one, no. <laughs> So what do you think about this place? I think my love for wine has grown after getting to know uh, how much effort goes into it in order to regulate the temperature, how much amount of time that goes into it, effort that goes into it to bring that product. Mm -hmm. I kind of admire. Mm -hmm. So this place is really cool in that there's a lot of art around and different types of art like murals and paintings and um, pottery and mosaics and things and different rooms that have their own unique themes. So it's cool to have a tour here. Um, I did learn a bit about the process of making wine but really only about five minutes of the whole tour discussed making wine itself and distinguishing wines and that's really what I wanted to know like when I taste a wine can I recognize uh, any specific flavors can I be able to describe it and I still can't so uh, I mean now we're doing wine tasting so maybe that's part of it we are actually not doing wine tasting but we can at least watch other people but I think it would have been interesting to learn more actually about the wines themselves Anyway, it's still cool that we got to see it and how Moldova does wine. I know it's a little bit more than I did in the morning when I woke up. So this is the Krakova Cellars Wine Shop. We have a lot of different styles here. Metal awarded wine. Yeah. This is probably some of the most expensive and high quality stuff on the market. Um, Vin Medlite. I don't know what that means. Classic sparkling wine. Actually, when we first arrived, I got to try a sparkling rosé, and it was really nice, and I'm not even a huge wine fan, but it tasted strawberry and bubbly and, you know, refreshing. Yeah. So they have all kinds of different wines, red and white. Actually, in, the, in these cellars, they produce 60% red wine and 40% white wine because uh, red wine has a longer shelf life whereas white wine doesn't age as well and doesn't last as long. Fifty. Fifteen. So we're at the bus stop now and we're going back to Chisinau. Uh, bus number two, which is exactly how we came. Um, in terms of the tour, I was excited that I got to see the way that the structure is built, the cellars, the art, the design, the architecture, architecture. But I was disappointed that we actually didn't learn very much about wine itself. Perhaps people that come here already are winos and they already know a lot so they don't cover the basics. I would have liked to know the basics. Instead, I learned mostly facts about the cellar itself, like there's mold on the outside of the caps because of the humidity, stuff like that, which is like interesting in the moment, but I would like to have a more broad, uh, basic understanding of wine. So I think I need to head to YouTube for that. Anyway, if you like wine, then go ahead and take the, get, take the tour Learn about Moldovan wine, which is one of the biggest producers in the world, and I think you'd really enjoy it. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel because we have a lot of good stuff coming. This is just the beginning of our trip around the world. We have more videos about Moldova and Ukraine coming soon.